So we'll do uh, Guru Rinpoche seven line prayer first. Praise to Shakyamuni Buddha. Teacher, foe destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Teacher, Go destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. Go destroyer, thus gone, fully and perfectly awakened Buddha, endowed with knowledge and good conduct, gone to bliss, nor of the world, helmsman of ordinary beings to be tamed, supreme one, teacher of all gods and men, Buddha, foe destroyer, glorious victorious one, Shakyamuni, to you I pay homage, make offerings, and go for refuge. When you, chief of humans, were born, you took seven steps on this great earth, and you said, I am supreme in this world. To you who were wise at that time, I prostrate. Completely pure body, supremely fine form, 
ocean of wisdom like a golden mountain, fame that blazes in the three worlds, supreme protector, to you I prostrate, endowed with the supreme marks, a face like the stainless moon, a color like gold, to you I pay homage. The three worlds are not like you who is free from dust, matchless one, endowed with knowledge, to you I prostrate. Protector, endowed with great compassion, omniscient teacher, field of ocean-like merits and good qualities, to the thus gone I prostrate. Through purity, free from attachment, through virtue, releases from the evil gone realms, unique, supreme, ultimate meaning, to the Dharma that brings peace I prostrate. From freedom, teaching the path, well abiding in the pure trainings, holy field endowed with good qualities, to the Sangha also I prostrate. Homage to the Supreme Buddha, homage to the Dharma refuge, homage to the great Sangha, to all three ever devout homage, to all worthy of respect, bowing with bodies as many as all realms, atoms, and all aspects, with supreme faith I pay homage. Do not commit any non-virtuous action, accumulate virtue and goodness, subdue your own mind. This is the teaching of the Buddha. Like a star, a mirage, a lamp, illusions, drops of dew, bubbles, dreams, lightning and clouds, look at all conditioned phenomena as such. Due to this merit, having attained the state of the all-seeing and thereby subduing the enemy of faults, may I liberate migrators from the ocean of existence, stirred by the waves of aging, sickness, and death. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge in the Guru. I take refuge in the Buddha. I take refuge in the Dharma. I take refuge in the Sangha. I take refuge until I'm enlightened in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. By the positive potential I create by listening to the Dharma, may I attain Buddhahood in order to benefit all sentient beings. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free of suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the joyful happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from holding some close and others distant. Respectfully, I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I confess all my negative actions accumulated since beginningless time and rejoice in the virtuous actions of all ordinary and noble beings. Please, Buddha, remain as our guide and turn the wheel of Dharma until samsara ends. Through the merit created by myself and others, may the two bodhicittas ripen and may I attain Buddhahood for the sake of all sentient beings. This offering I make of a precious jewel mandala together with other pure offerings and wealth and the virtues we have collected throughout the three times with our body, speech, and mind. All my masters, my yadams, and the three precious jewels, I offer all to you with unwavering faith. Accepting these out of your boundless compassion, please send forth waves of your blessings. Hidam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Naryati Yami. The Heart of the Perfection of Wisdom Sutra. I prostrate to the Arya Triple Gem. Thus did I hear at one time the Bhagavan was dwelling on massive vultures mountain on Rajagriya, together with a great community of monks and a great community of bodhisattvas. At that time, the Bhagavan was absorbed in the concentration on the categories of phenomena called profound perception. Also at that time, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara looked upon the very practice of the profound perfection of wisdom and beheld those five aggregates also as empty of inherent nature. Then through the power of Buddha, the Venerable Shariputra said this to the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, how should any son of the lineage train who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom. He said that, and the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara said this to the Venerable Sharivari Putra. Shariputra, any son of the lineage or daughter of the lineage who wishes to practice the activity of the profound perfection of wisdom should look upon it like this, correctly and repeatedly beholding those five aggregates 
also is empty of inherent nature. Form is empty. Emptiness is form. Emptiness is not other than form. Form is also not other than emptiness. In the same way, feeling, discrimination, compositional factors, and consciousness are empty. Shariputra, likewise, all phenomena are emptiness, without characteristic, unproduced, unceased, stainless, not without stain, not deficient, not fulfilled. Shariputra, therefore, in emptiness, there is no form, no feeling, no discrimination, no compositional factors, no consciousness, no eye, no ear, no nose, no tongue, no body, no mind, no visual form, no sound, no odor, no taste, no object of touch, and no phenomenon. There is no eye element, and so on, and up to, and including, no mind element, and no mental consciousness element. There is no ignorance, no extinction of ignorance, and so on, and up to, and including, no aging and death, and no extinction of aging and death. Similarly, there is no suffering, origination, cessation, and path. There is no exalted wisdom, no attainment, and also no non-attainment. Shariputra, therefore, because there is no attainment, bodhisattvas rely on and dwell in the perfection of wisdom, the mind without obscuration and without fear. Having completely passed beyond error, they reach the end point of nirvana. All the Buddhas who dwell in the three times also manifestly completely awaken to unsurpassable, perfect, complete enlightenment in reliance on the perfection of wisdom. Therefore, the mantra of the perfection of wisdom, the mantra of great knowledge, the unsurpassed mantra, the mantra equal to the unequal, the mantra that thoroughly pacifies all suffering should be known as the truth, since it is not false. The mantra of the perfection of wisdom is declared Payata gate gate par gate par sam gate bodhisoha. Taita, gate, gate, par, gate, par, sam, gate, bodhisoha. Shariputra, the bodhisattva, mahasattva should train in the profound perfection of wisdom like that. Then the Bhagavan arose from that concentration and commended the bodhisattva, mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, saying, Well said, well said, son of the lineage. It is like that. It is like that. One should practice the profound perfection of wisdom just as you have indicated. Even the Tathagatas rejoice. Bhagavan having thus spoken, the Venerable Sharivari Putra, the Bodhisattva, Mahasattva, Arya, Avalokiteshvara, those surrounding in their entirety, along with the world of gods, humans, Asuras, and Gandharvas, were overjoyed and highly praised that spoken by the Bhagavan. Uh, good morning. Usually, uh, traditionally, you would have uh, uh, the mandala offering now, but I think people need to be greeted a little bit um, in American ordinary consensual reality. <laughs> so I'm going to say a few things, and uh, Geshe Damshala is going to say a few things. <clears throat> in our tradition, of course, um, we want to um, have the wisdom that uh, sees things as they are, and we develop um, compassion uh, and loving kindness uh, that gives the foundation and the expression to the wisdom. But sometimes, uh, uh, as I mentioned this morning in another group, uh, we get a little bit too perfectionistic and serious. <laughs> so, and uh, Vajrayana or Tantra. Um, style of doing Buddhism, we said, don't forget the bliss. So um, we generate actual lived, felt sense of well-being, of um, realistic pleasure, of realistic satisfaction, of realistic fun and ecstasy and, and bliss. So that um, 
we uh, feel alive and not just compassionate or not just wise, but we also enjoy ourselves. So my old teacher used to kid me, he said, do you have a serious disease? <laughs> so uh, generally, um, you'll find, particularly for those who've seen uh, Dalai Lama or Jada Rimshe or uh, any of the teachers that we've brought here, or including Geshe Damshala, like it, there's a combination of, of urgency, like let's you know see what's going on because things are impermanent, but also a sense of humor, right? It's not deadly serious. It's concerning and it is real and it is serious, but um, I found that when groups or governments or <laughs> institutions lose their sense of humor at that, it's, it's really, we're in trouble, right? So um, really appreciated that the teachers that I would like to present here um, have a sense of humor and you can feel the, the joy inside while at the same time they're benefiting others while at the same time we're helping others. So um, I just think that if we have this wise uh, happiness that we can share with others that it's the best. So um, at Middleway Health and also at Middleway Health Foundation particularly, um, I'm emphasizing that it's our, um, our, our happiness and our sense of well-being that also helps heal. It isn't just therapy or social work, but others need to be around people that can say, you know, I, I'm, I'm dealing with sadness, but I'm also happy. I'm you know, dealing with difficult situations, but also have a sense of balance like that. <clears throat> so today um, it's more celebratory. Um, birthdays are always fun. Of course, in Tibet it'd just be Losar. Maybe we should do that. You know, everyone celebrates birthday in the same the same week. Because <laughs> I feel bad sometimes, like, oh God, I forgot your birthday. You know, and th this way we could just say, okay, we did your birthday. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I do want to do you know more for um, uh, you know New Year's and Lama Songkhapa instituted um, you know um, Mon Lam ceremony. Um, maybe he did that because um, uh, New Year's like New Year's in the West is just you know eating and drinking and maybe being out of control. So he decided, okay, we need to do um, something that has to do with um, creating auspicious situations, right? And in Tibet, they would create these um, incredible butter sculptures. So I don't know if people see maybe small ones, you know, that, that are made and look like flowers and on the altar. Um, of course, there was fairly cold, but um, maybe we could, um, you know, do that for you know, 2023, do that. Mama, what do you think, Keshla? Be good, do Mama? Yeah. So um, I'm, not, I'm not good at uh, making those, but Geshe Damsha is really good at it. So I'm giving him another job. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help out. <laughs> we have a good kitchen here, you know, so you can farm them. They can be just very simple, you know, like that. Make a big one. So um, we have a lot to do today. So um, I'd like to say how happy I am that Geshe Damshala is here. Um, without Geshe Damshala, we really wouldn't have Lion's Roar and um, wouldn't be able to um, bring in the teachers and have the fun that we do have. So thank you. Now you have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good morning. Yeah, welcome to today's Lamala Spectre coming. Thank you very much. Yeah, Lamala now is said in the, maybe 20 trees in the uh, flying in the Molom. Yeah, yes, Molom's uh, actually it's too hot, and uh, maybe it's uh, one week, three, uh, maybe four sections. <laughs> Long flight, right? Morning and noon. 
and uh, after maybe three o'clock, after night, and whole one days, and uh, uh, we are flying in the uh, all Dharma text. Actually, Molum is start and first founded in uh, Zonkaba. Zonkaba, he is in first in 13th century. He is in the found in the first Molum in the uh, flying in first in Tibet, in Lhasa. And name actually is in Tibetan is Lhasa Molum. Lhasa Molum, Lhasa is a big place and lots of monks. Lots of monks, maybe in 10, 20,000 monks. And together, and lots of first, first day to 15, 15 days. And, and every day we monks in together and fry and the, the Molum. Then now actually it's the VRD stay in the uh, United States, a little bit in easy, right? <laughs> Maybe in the, not too early, in early boards, no six o'clock. Maybe it's nine o'clock, nine to <laughs> Maybe schedule nine to 10. Maybe afternoon, two to uh, three. Maybe it's uh, six to seven. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, night thinking in one day in uh, how are we frying? What are you on uh, pujas and maybe a uh, schedule, Lama La VR talk and next year in 23 and lots of after small. Yeah. Maybe uh, that's seven days too long, right? Maybe we can Friday, Saturday, we're, Sunday. We're doing something here every day already. We could do it. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're doing the challenge. Yeah, okay. Mom challenge. Mom challenge. Yeah, that's a better. <laughs> seven days. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, today in uh, Lamala's birthday. Uh, happy birthday, Lamala. Yes, maybe we are in a long time and Lamala's and birthdays. And they were, maybe I first time coming in United States, 2010. Until now, it's in, in 12 years. We are together, all, all in one family, and all your Lamala students here. Very happy. It's on, right? On family, on um, teacher. One day, I uh, Lamala's office coming, and uh, one uh, lady asked, "Hey, Kishilas, what do you mean in Lama?" <laughs> this is it. oh yeah, right. Lama's meaning actually in the uh, in Tibet, Tibetan Lama. Lama meaning is in this very high education, very good in the and uh, morality and high, uh, very good qualities um, teacher, teacher name, Lamas, Tibetan. Tibetan name is Lamas and a high teacher. And I talked to her, actually it's a Lama meaning and a very good study and educated, very good and uh, morality, honestly person and Lama. The lamas and actually uh, we are in the lineage in the previous life and this life and go into and uh, and go into um, life life go lama and, and some people in lama and rainbow is and the meaning in the same rainbow cheese, right rainbow is actually tibetan is very good and we are exemplary in some diamond right exemplary diamond diamond is actually very expensive very, you know, how about you say, and glass and shining and whoever looked to, oh, it's a diamond is very uh, expensive and very, whoever you like to write. This, this same meaning in Tibetan and traditional uh, lamas and rambuches and give to his name. <clears throat> Today, uh, uh, actually in a lama and a big guru yoga text, lama you, Buddha, Lama, you, and Yedam, Lama, you protector, all together, right? A Lama means he's in oh, good uh, Yedam. Yedam, you, Yedam, you, right? Yedam is the highest yoga tantra, and there's Yedam. You Buddha, you Yedam, you Kando, all together, the Lama, he's a knowledge to in, take together. Oh, all together coming in the Lama. Um, 
now actually you we are and then now first we are seven limb fry right this one uh, please as teacher remain us our guy and turn to wheel of dharma until samsara ends lama la thank you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and end the <their> sacrament <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you very much happy birthday <laughs> So next. Next, checking. Can you guys hear me? No. Take sometimes it's a little delayed there. So the next thing we're 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 going to say um, a prayer, a guru yoga of sankapa, and um, it's going to be displayed on screen. And then after that, um, we'll do a, a formal mandala offering. I take safe direction from the three precious gems. I shall liberate every limited being to secure them all in an enlightened state. I reaffirm and correct my bodhicitta aim. I take safe direction from the three precious gems. I shall liberate every limited being to secure them all in an enlightened state. I reaffirm and correct my bodhicitta aim. I take safe direction from the three precious gems. I shall liberate every limited being to secure them all in an enlightened state, I reaffirm and correct my bodhicitta aim. May the ground everywhere lie as smooth as the palm of the hand, free of pebbles and the like, gentle and be made of beryl. May divine and human objects of offering actually arrayed and those envisioned as peerless clouds of Samatabhadra offerings completely fill the sphere of space. From the heart of the guardian of the hundreds of deities of Pushita, the land of joy, on the tip of a rain-bearing cloud resembling a mound of fresh white curd, we request you alight and grace this sight, King of the Dharma, Losong Drakpa, the omniscient with the pair of your spiritual sons, seated on the lion throne's lotus and moon in the sky before us, ennobling impeccable gurus, we request you remain with white smiles of delight for hundreds of eons to further the teachings as the foremost fields for growing a positive force for us with the minds of belief in the facts. Your minds have the intellect that comprehends the full extent of what can be known. Your speech with its elegant explanations becomes an adornment for the ears of those of good fortune. Your bodies are radiantly handsome with glory renowned. We prostrate to you whom to behold, hear, or recall is worthwhile. Refreshing offerings of water, assorted flowers, fragrant incense, lights, scented water, and more. This ocean of clouds of offerings actually arranged and envisioned here. We present to you foremost fields for growing a positive force. Whatever destructive actions of body, speech, and mind that we have committed, piling up over beginningless time, and especially the breaches of our three sets of vows, we openly admit one by one with fervent regret from our hearts. You perceived a phenomenal amount of study and practice, and by ridding yourselves of the eight childish feelings, you made the res respites and enrichments of your lives worthwhile. From the depths of our hearts, we rejoice, O guardians, in the towering waves of your enlightened deeds. Hallowed and nobling, impeccable gurus, from the clouds of omniscient affection that billow in the skies of your dharmakayas, we request you release a rain of profound and vast dharma to shower on the absorbent earth of us, eager to be tamed in fitting ways. May whatever constructive forces built up by this benefit the teachings and all those who wander, and may they especially enable the heart of the teachings of the ennobling, impeccable Losang Drakpa to be ever on. By offering this space anointed with fragrant waters, strewn with flowers and decked with Mount Meru, four islands, a sun and a moon, imagine it as a Buddha field. May all those who wander be led to pure lands. Om Midam Guru Ratna Mandala Kam Niryati Yami. I send forth this mandala to your precious gurus. By the force of having made fervent requests in this way from the hearts of the ennobling, impeccable father and the pair of his spiritual sons, hollow beams of white light radiate forth. 
Their tips combine into one and penetrate us to the crowns of our heads. Through the conduit of these white tubes of light, white nectar floats freely, the color of milk, purging us of diseases, demons, negative forces, obstacles, and constant habits, barring none. Our bodies become as pure and as clear as a crystal. You are Avalokiteshvara, a great treasure of unnamed affection. Manjushri, a commander of flawless wisdom. Vajrapani, a destroyer of all hordes of demonic forces. Sankapa, the crown jewel of the erudite masters of the land of snows. At your feet, Lo Sangdrapa, we make your we make requests. Now we have uh, a mantra which a request of help. Especially. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. 
Sadna. Glorious precious root guru, come grace the lotus and moon seed at the crowns of our heads, taking care of us through your great kindness, direct us to the actual attainments of your body, speech, and mind. Glorious precious root guru, come grace the lotus seats at our hearts. Taking care of us through your great kindness, remain steadfast to the core of our enlightenment. That by this constructive act, may we quickly actualize ourselves as Guru Buddhas and thereafter lead to the state all wandering beings, not neglecting even one. Yes, so we're not going to do the dedication yet because we, we have another sadhana to, to recite together. <laughs> And this one, uh, I know we're doing a lot of prayers today, aren't we? But it's a, such a, a special day. So uh, we have another one for Lama Lama's long life. So I know you'll all want to join me in reciting the sadhana, the daily long life practice of Amitayas. I take refuge in the guru, the immortal protector, for sentient beings, I shall attain the level of the Vidyadhar with power over life. Ah, in the center of this place of residence, the pure land of great bliss, upon a lotus and moon, from the hree of my own mind, emerges Amitayas, boundless life. Bright red, smiling peacefully, holding a long life face and the gesture of equanimity. He is the Sambhokakaya form and sits amidst the expanse of rainbow-colored rays of light. formed in the sun and the moon, is the syllable hri encircled by the mantra from which rays of light shoot out to collect the vital essence of the animate and inanimate world, which returns and dissolves into me, and I thereby accomplish the deathless, indestructible Vajrakaya. Om Amari. Om Amarane Zewande Soha, 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 Ong Amaran is the one day is over. 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 On a maran is the one day is over. On a maran is the one day. On a maran is the one day is over. On a maran is the one day is over. On a maran is the one day is over. 
Amazing, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Very high school, and uh, maybe 15 years before, and uh, take uh, children, 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 so uh, I had to tell a little story. So um, you know, before um, the service, so we were just kind of talking, and um, I guess we were just talking. Oh, when when was uh, when, when did, did didn't you do go so much? Yeah, Chodi Rinpoche, and then I go, oh yeah, and, and I go, that's that's some really long mantras. <laughs> <laughs> so you know. Uh, this is inspiration for me to uh, do the mantra recitation because uh, we need to do it on retreat. So, um, just sometimes translated to English, um, secret assembly, you know. So when they say secret, we mean like uh, something we have to realize for ourselves, right? It's not like a secret, like, uh, I know some information that you don't know. It's meaning that it, it has to have direct experience. So, um, Mama Sankapa to his spiritual uh, sons, you know, on the each side. So, um, uh, after I got kind of bold, uh, I asked my old teacher what, you know, what are you practicing? <laughs> and he was, he was good. He says, it's hard, but I do both Kala Chakra and Guru Samaja. That's difficult. <laughs> but Lama Sankaba has written particularly uh, very strong commentaries, you know. So uh, that's some, you know, I'll go over with Geshla. So um, I, I need to do, you know, long retreat on top of, uh, like this. So it's very possible to do that now. So because maybe next year cutting back on um, therapy practice. So to do more Dharma practice, that's important. Because I'll get my self security when I'm 70. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so this is very precious. And uh, the, it's like a self secret, right? If you do the practice, and you have the experience in your heart, then, then you know it yourself, right? It's not information anymore. That's very precious. Yeah. And particularly um, receiving from uh, uh, Chodron Rinpoche, you know, so Chodron Rinpoche uh, uh, composed my long life prayer too, like that. Um, and, he was, he was sometimes a little fierce. <laughs> like that. But, um, so when we did, uh, um, I had uh, students come down to Sei Chin Ling in um, San Francisco. Um, and I stood Chun Rim Shade before we had an interview. So I, I want these students to really be serious. So I'm going to ask them to wear like, uh, a retreat Zen, you know, like like uh, Patty and Autumn and Michelle's wearing and um, Matthew's wearing, you know. So so you really take it seriously because then you have to create the karma to do the retreat. So you're wearing retreat Zen, uh, like Mila Repa, right? Uh, then you have to you know create that karma where eventually you do the uh, retreat on Guru Samaja. Mm -hmm. Heavy, he liked that, you know. <laughs> so I have to do it too. 
yeah. <laughs> so further inspiration from Gershla to do it. It's a big deal. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Gershla. So uh, the next person, oh, I didn't know that feedback to me. <laughs> so the next person on our uh, presentation for Lama Lala's birthday is Jules. In honor, of, um, in honor of Lamla's birthday and gratitude for all he's uh, taught us, um, we, his students, uh, collect mantra chants for him. And this, this year we've done Manjushri mantra. And Manjushri is the Buddha of wisdom and knowledge. So um, this year we've collected 284,400 Manjushri mantras as of yesterday from Deb Deeds. Um, yeah. He's been collecting the mantra count and as um, I think it's higher actually as of this morning. So we'll have to reprint this. It's still clicking. Yeah, it's still clicking. It's still going. <laughs> so, yeah, people hoard them until last week. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so thank you for all the knowledge and wisdom you've given us. And we hope and pray you will continue for many more years. And so this year it's 284,400 and counting. So. That's neat. Turn it around so people, maybe the camera can see which camera is being used. That one there, turn it there to go. that one. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. So I'm gonna say a little bit about, um, so um, twice, um, twice a month, I'm here Mondays and uh, giving some commentary and hopefully elucidation on uh, some of the classic texts calling Buddha Dharma study program. So uh, before um, the um, commentary, of course we do the famous prayer to Manjushri and Manjushri mantra. And at Sarah Jay, you would just wake up to doing Manjushri. <laughs> dee, 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 you know, like that. That's alarm clock, dee, 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 alarm clock, you know, cause that's the, and keep doing that. So the, the Buddha Dharma study program um, is reading uh, a selection of the classic texts that um, an educated um, uh, Bodhisattva would read or a monk or nun would read. Um, we don't have uh, the time to do, I'm not trying to say we're doing a full Geshe program, that's not possible, I'm not doing that, um, but we're doing a classical um, piece that uh, you know, I, I, want, I want the people to be directly involved in both study and practice and uh, directly available for um, uh, input from each other and from me. Because online courses are nice, but uh, and even when you get feedback, it's good, like the FPMT Foundations course, that was good. And uh, asked a number of people here to do that. But um, generally, um, when people do online courses, they're not able to meet with a teacher in person still, right? And then um, I'm not able to see that person's character, how they developed, because in our tradition, we have the three higher trainings, higher training in ethics, higher training in concentration, and the higher training in wisdom. So if we just read, but we don't have the training in uh, concentration, then the words will just be like, disappear. And then if we don't have the training and the ethics, the training and the values, training and keeping a clear mind, you won't be able to uh, achieve much concentration or samadhi states. And without the deep concentration states, you, you won't be able to uh, have the higher realizations won't stick. So I'm very classical that way. And I want, that's why, you know, I checked with many different teachers and I said, I want to do it really well. And I don't want to just be a university course. So I've asked the people that are doing the program to also be refuge students that they have the moral and the lineage commitment to doing it. So that's that's a little bit of a bar, right? So it's a little bit more theological school <laughs> than than just open source. Uh, but uh, you know, reference means you're committing yourself to some values, not to something you can't do, right? I mean. It's hard, you know, sometimes we can commit ourselves to 
you know, some kind of big thing, but can we commit ourselves to, you know, being mindful and kind? Yeah, why not? That's it, you know? So, uh, so I'm really delighted that doing the Manjushri mantra and, um, you know, D, these, the, the logo of Sergei. You know? So I don't know how my, you know, we don't have our Sergei bag, but uh, uh, Luntuk and Sergei, it probably has a Sergei bag. He, he might, <laughs> actually only the tourists have, <laughs> the monks don't have Sergei bags, you know, but in any case, so the Manjushri practice, we have to have the ethics and the concentration and the wisdom and then when it all comes together, so then then you have um, Manjushri, and of course some people were here when uh, Kansar Rinpoche was here and gave uh, the Manjushri empowerment, and uh, we have this beautiful, uh, small but very intricate Manjushri uh, tanka on the wall that uh, my friend um, and Davis um, Hara Shakya. Uh, you know, kept for many years and so, oh now Lama this is for you. So thank you so much. That's super. I'm making the ceremony longer now, aren't I? So, <laughs> so, so our our the next um Sangha member that's gonna present a gift is Susan Farrar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll help you. <laughs> um, this is really on behalf of everybody here and your friends from Expressions. Oh. So um, this is but, from this is a gift from everybody. Uh, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh this is from uh Raphael, right? Mm -hmm. What's the name? Ruben. Ruben. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's like your mafia. Ruben. Yeah, I can can see from the, the way mm, there. Okay. Yeah. So very lumin luminous luminous. Yeah, that's really neat. What a great idea. Yeah, Ruben, where are you? Thank you so much. That's nice. Wonderful framing. I think Susan framed it. No, Ruben did. Oh, Ruben did. Wow. Our, our final friend who's living in, at Sarah J, and everyone knows, Lung Tuk. And he's online, of course, because he's in India. And he has a, something to share right now online. And he'll need to be unmuted. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, what I have is actually the dedication prayer that you spoke, Lamala, two years ago. Um, that uh, if you can see me, is one of the few things that I actually brought in paper copy. Um, because it means so much to me uh, that it's here with me. So... Uh, what I understand about this is that it, it was either inspired or in some way related to a, a Jujum Rinpoche poem or dedication that you, um, when you spoke it, that's what you uh, related to me. Um, I recorded it um, uh, July 13th, 2020. And now I'd like to uh, recite this dedication prayer. May my bodhicitta mind arise like Avalokiteshvara. May my wisdom arise like my Man Manjushri. May my mind transcend all duality and become spacious like the sky. May all the qualities of Padmasambharas, 
body, speech, and mind become dissolved and become inseparable with myself. May I dedicate all this enlightenment to everyone. Om Mahong. <laughs> yeah, thank Happy you. Happy birthday, Lamala. <laughs> that be, this is fantastic. Pulled it off. Good for you. That's great. <laughs> it's it's wonderful to see both of you uh, <laughs> i'm glad you're there you know so uh it completes the circle you know so uh you know like to have us around the globe and to do all the different levels of training you know together so thank you so much fantastic so i'll text you later on okay okay yeah and geshla everyone asks about you <laughs> <laughs> All my brothers ask about you, so it's, it's very nice. I have a couple younger Mongolians who live on either side of me, and they say, oh, Kishitomshala, yeah, I know. So it, it, it's nice that I have people who have a connection with Sacramento here. It is really that connection of Dharma all over the world. So... That's important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, huh? It's neat we have these TVs and yeah. monitors and, you know, we can do this. So um, actually, we're even going to be upgrading over the, over the summer, new microphones and uh, new stuff so we can have even better transmission, right? So your donations at work. I, I wanted to mention like with the Buddha, the Dharma study program, people that are interested can can join, you know, so even though we've gone through a lot, uh, you know, I'm willing to work with people that actually want uh, to do the readings and want to have the discussion and want to connect it to their practice. Um, I don't see them as books, you know, people say they're, they're um, living teachers, you see, it's just, you know, like there were no videos or, <laughs> you know, tape recorders, you had to write down, you know? So um, that's why uh, at Sarah J, all the monasteries, the books are up high, you know, it's, it's not like you never put a book on the ground. It's, so it's like it, it's the teacher's right there because you have the words, because the, um, the Buddhas um, don't lay on hands <laughs> to transfer realizations or to, heal uh they can't wash away with water just teach right so primarily as buddhists speak so the words are connected and it's understood the same as like the speech right so um all you have to do is like um i guess what i'm saying all you have to do is, is just be if you need these really thick books like uh um Tara Tantra Shastra, Gulama, you know, Gulama, so thick, but in the commentary, you know, if you just read a half an hour a day. So if you read, if you do your meditation, your yoga kind of meditation in the morning, if you're a morning person, and then, you know, instead of, you know, watching TV at night, you're, you're reading profound, then you can get through the whole program just a half an hour a day. My promise. Okay, that's my pitch. I'm big on this. So it's important to do the study. Yeah. Okay, what's next? <laughs> so, so next we'll, we'll do, we'll have dedication and then we'll have a card line. Okay. My teacher used to like, we had only a few, Yeshi Yodron only had a few, uh, only had a few books in the 70s and 80s, right? Uh, and he would just pull a book out of the shelf. Yeshi knows the style and just say, what's in this? What does this say? He, he would just know, like even in English, he'd say in Tibet, and this is what the book is. And he goes, well, what's the, this? You know, just test you, put it right on the line. And it's, Yeshi knows because Going back to uh, Guto next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of memorization. Yeah, yeah long ceremonies. Yeah, 
Be lots of punjas, yeah. But some memorization. So, yeah. yeah. And they, they traditionally, I don't know who will be the preceptor, but they don't just say start at the beginning. They just pick, start here. Yeah, how would you like to do that? Like Paradise Lost, start here. Moby Dick, start here, right? You know, <laughs> you don't start at the beginning, call me Ishmael. No, they just pick, you know, like that. It's a big deal. It's in, then the words are in your heart. You know? They come at the right time. You memorize the words and then they come, the situation and the words arise at the right time. That's, that's why you study. That's why you memorize. It isn't just so you just say, now I'll tell you how to live your life. And the right words of the teacher come up at the right time. That's really important. Now what? Thank you for telling us about the Buddha Dharma program and about how, how we can approach it in a doable way. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. doable. You know. So yeah. the, the next part is dedication. Yeah, just like regular, I think we can do at the end. Due to the merits of these, these virtuous, virtuous actions, actions may I quickly, quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha, Buddha and lead all living beings without, without exception into that enlightened state. state. May the, the supreme jewel Bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In and the, the land encircled by snow mountains, you are the source of all happiness and good. All powerful Chenrezig, Tenzin, Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. May the teachings of the Buddha flourish. And may the upholders of the teachings remain forever. May all migrators achieve happiness. And may they fulfill all their temporary and ultimate goals. Lo Sang, magical display of the deep awareness of all the victorious ones. Merciful giver of a stream of profound and vast instructions to the fortunate migrants. Please remain always. <laughs> Abhulak Abhulak Kishpar, Kishpar, great, great treasure of objects of compassion. Manjushi, Manjushi master of flawless wisdom. Vajrapani, destroyer of the entire host of Mars. Sankaba, crown Sankaba, jewel of the snowy man sages. Mosangjakba, I make, make request at your holy feet. So now, Geshe, first, but 